everyone, today's video is my room tour. I'm so excited to share this video with you because it's been in the works for a little while and I'm so happy with how my room looks now. It is completely changed and I just feel like it reflects my personal style and my personality really well. So I really hope you enjoy this video and I'm not gonna talk for too long because I'm sure you're clicking on this video because you want to see my room. So let's just get into it. So when you come into my room, this is what you see. I'm going to talk you through this section first, but before I do that, I want to show you what's on the back of my door. So when I close my door, I've got a little mirror here. I actually need to attach this onto the door properly because it's just hanging at the moment. But yeah, this is my door. I've got a little backpack on it and my towel. And then over here, we've got this little storage area. I've got my TV there. That's from Kogan in case any of you are interested. And I've got this amazing piece of wall art which I got from a store called Seaweed and Sand and I love it. Then around here, we've got this really cool lamp which I got from Kmart. You might have seen it in my Kmart haul if you watched that. And if you watched that video, you'd know that it's a touch lamp. So when I press it, it turns on, which is really cool, but it's really annoying because it makes this weird sound. I don't know if you can hear that. And then around here, I've got this little vase that I got from a friend for my birthday and these fake flowers from Kmart. Then I've got this little sign saying happiness. I'm pretty sure this is from Seaweed and Sand as well and my mum got it for me for my birthday. And as we come around here, we've got another vase, a photo of me and my boyfriend, Brayden. He got me this for my birthday recently. And then I've got a Joan Malone candle, which smells incredible right now. So this storage space is from Ikea. I'm sure you guys would have seen it before. And all of the cubes that I've got are actually from Kmart. And I've got some black ones, gray ones, and teal ones just to go in my room. And they're full of things like skincare, hair care, um, what else is in there? I've got like snow gear, bikinis, all sorts of things and I just feel like this is a really useful bit of space. But I do have one cube that doesn't have a box in it and that's this one and it's got all of my perfumes in it. So I've got a bunch of different perfumes. This one's by Shawn Mendes. This is one that I got from the twins for my birthday. It's um, a Dior perfume. It smells amazing. This one's a new brand from Sephora. It's called Nest. Got my Coco Chanel, got some daisies, a Katy Perry one, got Viva La Juicy. Yeah, that's all of my perfumes that I wear a lot. So that's it for that space. And then around here, I've got my Alex drawers from Ikea. I've got the Alex fives. I just put them next to each other. And on one side, I've got all of my makeup. And on the other side, I've just got little things like storage for wash bags, storage for my undies. What else is in there? Oh, um, camera gear and things like that but honestly I do want to change it up and make them both storage for makeup because my drawers are getting really full I'll give you a quick sneak peek of my makeup so this is where I keep all of like my eye products like my mascaras my eyebrow products and things like that then the next drawer I have is for all of my foundations, powders, concealers, primers, and things like that. Then I've got my eyeshadow palettes. I love this drawer, but it's so messy. Like, how can you even organize eyeshadow palettes? I have no idea. Then I've got some more face products. This is like contouring blush, highlight. And then finally, my most messy drawer is my lip drawer. There is so much stuff in here that needs to be organized. So I won't show you guys what's in here just because it's really boring, to be honest. But on top of my Alex drawers, I've got some jewelry on display. So I'll talk you through that. So here I've got this little storage holder that I got from Kmart. In the top section, I've put all of my dangly earrings. The next drawer has barely anything in it because I really don't wear bracelets. So... That's my bracelet drawer, which has nothing in it. And then the bottom drawer is full of my stud earrings. Then I've got this little elephant that my mom got me for my birthday. And it's like a ring holder, so I popped some rings on there. Then I've got this acrylic container to put my hair elastics in. And above that, I've got these really cool hands that I got years ago as a present. And I hang all of my jewelry on there. And recently I bought this mug holder from Kmart. Didn't realize it was a mug holder, believe me, but I've hung all of my necklaces on there and it seems to work really well. Down here, I've got a little elephant that my mom bought me from Bali. And then I've got an Akoya candle. And finally, I have my 100,000 subscribers YouTube plaque, which of course I have to have on display. And I just love looking at this. Next to that section, I've got a little bin, which I've had for years. And also guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I recently got plantation shutters. I've always had really gross blinds for a while. I say they're gross just because they had like makeup all over them and they just weren't very nice. And now I've got really nice plantation shutters. I love them. And then in this section over here, I've got my little dresser and this is from 
Ikea as well and same with this mirror and then I've got storage for my makeup brushes I've got this little fake plant from Kmart I've got this gorgeous candle holder and this is actually from Avon. This drawer is actually a little bit broken and it won't come out the full way, but over here I've got my hair care, skincare, stationery. Then I've got these little cubes below the dressing table and I think these are just from like Ikea or something. I think they're from years ago though, but they're like the perfect thing to fit under there. Then to the right of my dressing table, I've got this hat stand and I recently decluttered this heaps and I've just left it with my bag. So I guess it's not really a hat stand anymore. It's more of a bag stand, but yeah, I've just got a bunch on here. I've got a Michael Kors one. I've got some clutches, so lots from Colette. Colette is like my main place I get all my bags. That's pretty much it. I'm not actually sure where this hat stands from because it used to be Lily's, but yeah, I really like it. So now for my favorite part of my room, this area. I love it. Everything here is super new. So I guess we'll start off with my bedside table. This is from Ikea and I literally got this the other day. I haven't actually even put anything in the bedside table except I've put some things on display on top. So I've got this little plate, which mum got me from Bali. I've got the remote for my light and fan. This little plant from Kmart. This mug that I got sent, which is so cute. It's got like five carat gold. So I'm like, have to have it on display. And then behind there, I actually have my Google Home, which I love. Now for my bed, I actually bought this from my sister Lily. I paid her a little bit of money for it. And I just think it goes so nicely in my room. And it's so comfy because it's got like a cushioned headboard. Whereas my last one was metal and a bit uncomfortable. And I also got the bedding off of her, which is from Adairs. And it's so soft honestly it's so nice then around here I've got these cushions I've had these for a while I'm pretty sure they're from Adair's obviously these come with the bedding and then I've got these cushions back here which I bought from Adair's I actually bought them today and I didn't realize how well they go so I'm really happy with them and then above my bed I have this gorgeous piece of wall art this is from seaweed and sand and I am in love with it it's really really unique I must say because it's got white black teal blue all sorts of colors in it and it's also got like these gold speckles in it and like as you walk around it kind of reflects and then it looks like shinier depending on the angle and it's also got this kind of like beige border i'm kind of tempted to paint this white but i'm not sure let me know what you think guys and then something that you guys probably haven't seen but i've talked about is my new built-in wardrobe if you've been watching me for a while you'd know that i haven't had a built-in wardrobe before i've always just had kind of like the inside of the wardrobe without any doors so i finally got it done properly and i got the natural color which i think looks so nice because it's kind of got like a bit of a teal color so it kind of matches the wall and I just think it's perfect. I store everything in there. I'm not going to show you guys everything in my wardrobe because that still needs to be organized. But if you'd like to see a wardrobe tour, let me know as well because I feel like that could be fun to do once it's organized. So to give you an overview of my room, this is what it looks like. It's really not that big, but it's like the perfect space for me. And I feel like I've done a good job of just making it my own and, you know, making the most of the space. And I really like the way it's turned out. And so that's it for my room tour. I really hope you guys like my room as much as I I do. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to, sub and remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!